we've been experimenting with beetroot on the plot this year. Now, if you sow beetroot, when you sow each individual seed, it's not actually a seed, it's a little capsule. And sometimes it contains more than one plant. And you might be able to see here that sometimes you'll get two plants coming up, sometimes just one, sometimes three or four. Now, normal advice is to wait until the seedlings come up and then to just thin them to the, to the best, to the, to the uh, most healthy seedling. We decided not to do that this year. We thought we'd experiment. We'd, as you can see, grow our beetroot in trays to give them a good start. Grow them as plug plants, in other words. So we just plant out these individual plugs into the soil when they're ready. And we decided not to pinch them out. We'd just leave them as they were, just to see, as I say, what happened. And we've had some really good results. We've just started to lift the beetroot. As you can see, this was a, a plant which was came up as two, two plants from one little one of those little capsules, little woody looking capsules. Um, and we've got two very nice beetroot out of them. Now had we thinned those, as is the usual advice, we'd have only had one. So we'll certainly be doing that again with our with our next batches of beetroot. Now as you can see we've got two beetroot here which, which grew together from the same seed capsule. And now that we've uh, lifted them, all you have to do is to just pull them apart gently. These are about the right size. You don't want them much bigger than sort of golf ball size. Tennis ball size is, is certainly the largest, otherwise they get a bit woody and cracked, especially around the tops. But this, this is perfect, especially if you want to, want to pickle them or you want to use them individually in salads. Then all you do, obviously you'd just tease off some of the soil and we'll wash that off afterwards. The key with beetroot though is not to actually cut them. So you don't get a knife and just chop the roots and the tops off, otherwise they bleed. All that lovely red juice in the beetroot just disappears into the water when you're cooking them. So instead of that, you just grasp the stem, put your fingers about two, three inches, say a couple of fingers there above the, above the, uh, the root of the plant, and then give a twist. Just twist them off. Obviously you'll clean that up when you get to the kitchen, get all the soil off, give them a bit of a wash and then put them in the pot as they are.